Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Dot dot yes, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back. And those who are the first time here, definitely like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, let y'all know when I drop another video. But yo, man, today I'm just going to kind of discuss a couple of things that I found out in Cakewalk that you can actually do. So let's get started. All right. So I already have my contact already set up inside of my uh, Cakewalk. This is kind of like my standard project, how I start usually start my projects off. Um, so I have contact in here. All right. So for those who don't know, Cakewalk also has ghost notes. So let me show you two ways you can actually get your ghost notes going. I'm going to actually click on my shift D so you can see the whole keyboard. So on this right hand side, usually there's like a uh, option to see uh, what instrument you're actually on. All right, so this is the piano roll. You, you do get an option to actually do a, uh, some ghost notes in here, just like you can in FL Studio. So let me show you how to do it. So, I mean, this is the obvious way if you know you just put some notes in and then kind of go to another track and you'll be able to see it. But uh, in Cakewalk, it actually gives you an option to enable or disable snap to scale. So it'll snap your notes to the scale that you have. And you can go by the root, which I have it on... Uh, C sharp right now and you can do it by scales you can do it by uh, major I have it on natural minor right now so if I enable it you'll see it as these white lines these white lines are the ones I cannot put stuff on so if I even if I try to see I double clicked on the white and it just moves it to whatever note is above it but yeah so that's uh, that's one way to do it, and you have an option over here. So if you're in let's say, let's say you're in this mode, right, and you wanted to do that, you can do it by see it's turned on, snap the scales on. So on your MIDI line, when you have your MIDI, you can actually do it here, and you can actually change your note to whatever note you want it to be on, and you can actually change your scale to whichever scale you want it to actually be on. And then when you go to your piano roll, you'll actually see it in here because it's turned on. See, you turn it on and off. Really, really cool, quick feature that y'all can actually use at any time just to kind of get going with a beat. So seeing that we have something up, let's uh, let's see if we can do something. So these right here will give you your measures. So I'm just gonna do a whole note and I'm gonna hold Alt on the keyboard so I can do that whole note. So if I wanted to, um, Instead of just double clicking, like you can double click and put it in there, I could just hold Alt and actually click on the note. So basically all I'm doing is skipping every other note to kind of make chords. And basically it's just that simple. Then you just hold down control and you actually after you highlight all of them and you'll be able to drag them to your next part. So let's move this one up. I'm gonna hit my um, page up key because I have mine set to my transpose. I'm gonna move it up by 12 octaves. As you see the amount already in there, just move it up. And let's see how that goes. All right, man. So you got yourself some chords there. I mean, you can do like little, um, Highlight things if you want to.
So you have to have the move option, hold control. You see a plus sign, you know you can move it. Boom. And then you just copy these over and you can grab this one, hold control. And see what's cool is that it won't allow me to put it on the wrong key. I'm always in key, no matter what I'm really doing here with this, uh, with the scale lock on there. So let's see how that goes. So yeah, that's how you actually use it in the piano roll. Let me just uh, kind of finish off the beat. I'm just gonna throw some loops in here. This can be done and y'all can kind of see how it goes. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna drag this hi-hat loop over here onto my playlist. And what I'm gonna do is bounce the clip. So I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna do a control and then B. I have it, my shortcut to control B. So now when I hold down control and shift, you'll see that it has like those two double arrows on there. That the way you'll know you can actually stretch the sample itself. So I'm gonna stretch this out to four bars here. And I'm gonna bounce the clip again, just to make sure that that keeps its integrity and its uh, transients. All right, so let's, um, let's change the tempo. Let's go to, let's do 140. All right. So as you see, it stretched out the sample again. So I'm gonna restretch it back to where I want it, right at four bars. I'm gonna, gonna do a control B once I highlight it, control B, and it's gonna bounce it to the clip and keep that integrity. So there. Yeah, so that's how you can actually do it. And then you can do uh, like a put on this looping and you can just grab the end of it, seeing that it's on tempo now and just grab it and it'll loop the whole entire thing. So now I can just play it. All right, and let's add some drums. Let's uh, go to our template. I'll go to Satella drum kit. And let's see what we can find. And I'm just gonna drag this out and this is gonna actually loop as well. So that way I'll have a loop in there. I'm gonna move this over so I'll be able to see the whole 16.
so I'll just use this one. Um, let's take this off for one shot, turn it to ADSR. And tune it real quick. So I'm gonna add an effect. We're gonna go to G tune. Gonna pin it to the board so I can see it. Hold down control, grab this MIDI, and just drag it down to this line. And let's open up the MIDI itself. And do a Shift D so I can see the full screen. Old controls, I can get rid of all the rest of the keys here. All right. All right, so if you hold down Alt and you have your your uh, smart thing selected, you can actually give an option to cut. So we'll be able to cut the notes. switch up you know, it's a game changer you know what I'm saying <laughs> yeah man once again it's your boy x.e.l.o if y'all haven't liked subscribe or hit the bell notification for my videos what y'all doing man let's get this going man and thank you for all the people that actually have subscribed I'm actually over 100 you 100 right now Thank you very much, man. You know, I'm, I'm gonna try to pump out as much videos as I can and keep y'all informed as much as I'm informed and keep this going. But like I said, once again, it's your boy x.e.l.o. Peace.